Henderson. Vasquez can't defend. He's got the outside line for the second part, and he can't hold on. Going the long way around. We're going to be three wide for the lead as they all come to the line. Who is going to take it in the end? And here comes Lockwood. He's going to make the move to the outside. Quinn tries to force him off a little bit, but there he goes. It's going to be side by side through turn one. Will he be able to cover him off? He does. Weaving back to the left hand side. Reynolds is trying everything. The kitchen sink is being thrown at it. They're leaning on each other. Coming into turn number three. It's going to be a drag race through three and four. Coming back to the line. Here comes Frisch on the bottom. Richard's going to hold the inside. Tries to be the late breaker here. They're going to be side by side through the fire chicane. They bang doors, but keep it clean. As they're still four wide on the run down at the back straightaway. Demerit's looking for a line as well. What is going on in Michigan? No back into the fence. They're still beating and banging. Oh and to goodness. the line. He is much faster coming through there. Is there damage on Challenger? Apromitis is ahead. Oh, There's going to be a race to the line. Who is going to get it? I don't know, I just woke up from a little nap, it's a little dark, but you guys silly? I'm still gonna send it. Keep it up, Blue Junker! Just gonna send it! Gonna be a good day. Just gonna send it. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> gonna be a good day. Just gonna send it. Oh, right, all right, all right. Welcome to New Hampshire. Home of the lifestyle. Oh, that was a horrible thing. Anyways, qualifying, wrapping up here at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Looks like Tyler Marble will get his 9,000th pull of the season. 
I don't even know how that is. That's a lot. He's got a lot of pulls. But you know what? No wins to back it up. That's what it is. All right. Got a new qualifying grid thingy. I'll sh it'll pop up here in a second. But anyways, welcome to Fast Track Sim Racing Truck Series presented by iRacingIP.com. Use Fast Track 15 at checkout to save 80% off your order. Get yourself a nice fancy iRacing I flag. All right. Qualifying wrapped up. Tyler Marble on the pole. Here's our fancy, fancy little grid thingy coming up any second now. It goes a little too fast for me. I'll try to keep up. It's still a work in progress. Here we go. Tyler Marble P1. Kyle Nat P2. Training paints is integrated yet. Still working the bugs out. Look at the training paint thing. He's up. Wesley Yang. Uh, Gant. Austin Moore. Brandon Saylor. Kyle Oakley. It's going too fast. Ryan Shiro. Brett Spawn. Mark Sabak. Vernon Markheim. Ryan Cochran. Alan Hilton. Cody Matthews. Joseph Busau. Todd Shiro. Jacob Busau. Oh my God. Slow down. Chris Coggill. Ryan Haynes. Ryan Watson. Matthew Heal. Newcomer. Jeremy Clifton. Ryan Glixby. Jeremy Clifton. It's not the newcomer. I met Matthew. Heels in cover. Oh, that thing went way too fast. Have to slow that down and get the training paints integrated with it. Holy moly, I'm out of breath. I'm already exhausted. Damn, that was fast. All right. Anytime these guys want to grid up their race trucks and start to go racing here, you know, me after Speedway, that, uh, the crowd would appreciate it. Get in your cars, click drive, let's go. Me ain't got all day. Tyler Marble. Tyler Marble. Tyler. Tyler, Bueller, 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 Tyler, <laughs> where are you? Come on, get on the grid. Probably already is. I got the camera. Oh my god, my camera's on him. No, he's still not on the grid. Holy shit balls. Anyway, it's 120 laps here at New Hampshire. Track temp 78. No. Air temp is 78. There he is. Thank you for thank you for coming to class, Tyler Marble. And uh, track temp is 123 degrees, which means it is hot, slick, partly cloudy, relative humidity 55. I'm gonna work for the Weather Channel someday. All right, pace cars rolling off at the magic mile. I've been here in person. It's right, guys, oh my God, he's for, blowing uh, my eardrums out. out we'll, we'll let Tyler you take over the show anyway. for a second. Uh, changing until after the start finish line um rewind the turn one is discouraged and they just put on a good show here uh, i know if you can do it race in here the last piece has been great keep it up we'll make an ad made out of you yet tyler all right here we go <laughs> i kid i kid his car is off Time to hit the gold pedal here at New Hampshire. 120 laps in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series presented by iRacingIFlag.com. Tyler Marble, a little sleepy on the uh, old start and go button there as uh, the 12 of Kyle Knapp got a nice start there, but Tyler muscles through in the low lane. I gotta turn the volume down just a hair on my end so I can hear myself talk. Holy moly, Tyler Marble gonna lead lap one here at the beautiful New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Look at that, the seven of Austin Morris and not so fast, Mr. Marble, I'm trying to get you. And dives it down into to the low lane underneath Tyler Marble. Turn one, turn two, almost a little contact there. Let this guy sort it out. Then we'll start going through the field so everybody get a little TV time. All right, there it is. Austin Moore grabbing the lead. Tyler Marble getting a little banana peel action off of Moore. Got what corner we were in. And then Kyle Knapp's gonna take advantage of that. Let's get with that battle right here. All it took was just a little banana peel action and then it allowed the door to open, wide open for the 12 truck to march his way into P2. But Tyler Marble is not giving up without a fight. Has all that momentum in the top lane. 
And he's going to get a nice, he should get a nice run off the corner. But the 12 says not so fast. We're going to do our best John Force imitation down the front straight away. Oh, Tyler gets loose on entry. Man, he is just all over the place. Holy moly. So I think he's going to think better of it. Let the 12 clear himself and duck into P2. And as I say that, the 24 almost saw Jesus there about a half a lap ago. Got really loose on the straightaway and saved it pretty good there. Behind the right man. Da, 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 da. Behind Macho Man Randy Savage in a 77 truck. Of one Kyle Oakley snapping to a Slim Jim. If you want to go to my local convenience store and buy the old footlock, dump me some Slim Jims. All right. Quickly, we're going to check in on the leaders. We'll kind of do a quick uh, run through the field here. Austin Barr, your early leader on lap number five, 120. And that will make Tyler Marble. Whoa, wrong camera. There we go. Oh, my goodness. Two camera controls. Screw me up. P2, Tyler Marble, Wesley, or Kyle Knapp. Still riding in P3. Wesley, the Pizza Man again, P4. Kyle, let's get a closer view of these trucks. These beautiful race trucks. TV won't give us a fester. There you got Brandon Saylor. In the, uh, in its Toyota, using the DuPont colors. That's sacrilege. Ryan Shero in the online, was the all-star giveaways on Facebook. Vernon Markheim, an early race winner earlier in the season, not fuel mileage, ran out of gas coming through the start and finish line. I forget which track that was, but he hasn't ran enough races yet to get himself into the playoffs. Brett Spot <laughs> riding in P9. Hell and help P10. That is one Joseph Busau. Hell and one Brian Coughlin for P11 and P12. Cody Matthews in the busy beaver truck. P13, Mark Zabak, P14. That would be Jacob Musa on the four. Chris Cowgill, P16. Ryan Haynes, P17. Clifton, Jeremy Clifton, I believe he's your points leader. If not, Kyle Knapp is your point leader. Forgot to look at before I started this broadcast. Ryan Watson, P19, newcomer, rookie. Rocking the Andy Chang, Kowiak, 73. I like it, I like it a lot. Matthew Hill is a newcomer here at uh, Fast Track Sim Racing. He, uh, he helps out Mr. Jack Bowiak whenever he travels up to the uh, big NASCAR tracks in the Arc Series. I bought my current seat that I'm sitting in right now with my fat ass off of Mr. Hill. Gave me a great deal. Oh, we got him wrecking. I got to find it. Give me a second. Oh, the 11 sends the busy beaver into the grass where beavers like to eat does not hit anything will he keep it going there is no yellow he is on the road course the iRacing and NASCAR officials says you're on the road course son you're good to go no yellow sucks to be you I hate it more take a quick peek to see what, you know I take that back the yellow to come out my little green thing he didn't update Love to get with Tyler Marble on that to get the crack software on his computer because whenever he says replay for me It'll have the caution built in for me. It'll change the green to a yellow up there on the standing board. I forgot to tell Tyler how to do that. We'll get it going for the next next week race, but let's see what happened here. Marks and Bach rolling the bottom lane. Just nicks the beaver tail on the tent truck. Sends him through the grass. No harm, no foul. NASCAR officials changed their mind or says, you're on the road course, we have to throw yellow. So the 10 truck, Gordy Matthew, lives to race another day, another lap. Got very lucky that that grass set up in the inside wall. All right, let's get back to live TV. So we don't miss any of the race. Oh, we can't go back to live TV because we're in replay mode. However, with the magic of both control buttons, we can go fast forward through the caution laps and uh, watch the live racing. Let's back to the leaders, shall we? Watch the, watch their restart powers here. All right, Austin Moore. Nobody pitted according to my sim racing apps, so you didn't miss any of the pit stop action. Got rid of the caution lap to speed up the process here, unintentionally. 
I'd like to thank the six people out there in TV land watching me make a fool out of myself. Doing the best I can as a freebie broadcaster. All right, pace car is off for the first official restart of the race. Seven has control, and the 48 is right alongside him. Gonna try and drag race him into turn one, try to keep all that momentum. To, ooh, the seven squeezing him up into the dark asphalt. He is, he is also trying to get that run off of turn two. These guys are drag racing down the back straightaway, shot four style. It's a game of chicken to see who's gonna break the break the last, or break the, the latest? That's probably the correct one I was looking for. These guys are just throwing at it, throwing haymakers. Do a bow hopping on lead, Joe Frazier. These guys want to get that clean air. They're going to not fight, or they're not going to give up this battle without a fight. Tyler Marble washes up the racetrack a little bit, loses momentum. We'll try to settle in behind the seven, but the 12 says, I ain't gonna let you relax, man. I'm gonna try and get myself in the P2. Backs up his entry, probably to try to get a nice run off the corner here. I don't know, Marble fighting a little looseness on these tires. I'm gonna give me one second to get another app open, or another widget open on my sim racing app so I can click on the most exciting battle on the racetrack. Give one second, I'm looking at my other screen. All right, got that going. All right, we click on the exciting. And this will take us to the most exciting battle on the racetrack, which leads us to Coughlin, Musau, Zabak, Haynes, and Cowgill. This is all a battle for like 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Ooh, somebody set it up in the top lane. It's 73, Matthew Heal. Coming in like a scud missile in that top lane. He really sent it to, to get track position on the 04. That is a beautiful looking racetrack. I like it. Simple but effective. I like simple paint, stop, paint job. That's my kid. I'm like, just give me one color, maybe two. We'll call it a day. We don't need all fancy design bullshit. Just give me two colors and a number, and I'm good to go. And that's what Mr. Heel has black and white. Simple, easy peasy. Rocket to 73 outside, I think. I like it. That is your battle for P17. Door to door action. Haynes, Cowgill, Heel, Watson, point leader Clifton. Waiting in the wings, stuck in traffic. I think he's just being patient, or he's just not liking this racetrack. Some people don't like flat racetracks, some do. Me personally, I like them. I know how to get them apexes and get, get them straightaways as long as possible. Now, oh, that right front tire. Let's go back to the leader, shall we? Make sure we're not missing anything. Got a pass for P2. It's Kyle Knapp. Got by Tyler Marble, and now he's hunting down the leader of uh, 7 Austin Moore. Guys are really getting after it. Check out some different camera angles, shall we? Let's get to the cockpit here of the 12 truck trying to chase down one Austin Moore. Austin Moore got rid of his duct tape numbers from last week. Looks like they actually had some vinyl on the side of that thing, looking all pretty like a real race truck. Or I just traded updated my trading paints and <laughs> yeah. oh, nice crossover! Looking to complete the run into turn one. Will he outbreak the seven? Oh yeah, best get out of the truck so we can watch that. Door to door action. Got a little sunset action going on here. Yeah, sure, there's a little lights here. Maybe just a cloud cover that we're dealing with. I think it's just cloud cover. The sun will be back tomorrow. You bet your bottom dollar at tomorrow. That's my handy invitation for you old folks out there. Battle for the lead, big time in the turn. Hell, what is that? Oh, it's turn one, that's where all the grandstands are. These guys ain't giving up. They want that clean air. Tyler Marble is either waiting for a mistake. Looking to pounce on one of these guys. By Brandon Saylor just sitting there chilling like a villain. There's the sun, look at that. Beautiful, brings a tear to my eye. Tyler Marble going into the top lane. Sneaking the nose up in there trying to 
force the 12, but it didn't work. Maybe tries it again into turn one. Tries to get in those up there to prevent the 12 from uh, leading the corner. Try to pick up B2, but not happen this time around. Looks like everybody's single file as I peek on my other monitor. Nobody really going at it, so we'll just stay with the leaders here for a little while longer. Tyler Marble gets a run underneath the 12 of Kyle Knapp. Cannot keep the momentum down straight away. Let's ride with one Tyler. Oh, that's, that's still uh, Knapp. Let's ride with Tyler here. A little ink car. Ooh, a little loose off the corner there for Mr. Moore. Oh, a little downshift in action. <laughs> Look at this. Now, living in the same household as one Tyler Marble, I know he hates downshifting. He thinks it's lame as shit. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to make that race truck or next gen fast. Downshifting sometimes is a must. But here in the Marble household, we try to avoid it as much as possible because I too hate shifting. You lose time down in front straight away, but sometimes the gear ratios and the tracks don't match, so you gotta do what you gotta do to get that run off the corner, and dial shifting sh is required. Kinda uses up them rear tires sometimes, too. But in this case, it is working for them. Let's listen in on some other guys, see if they're down shifting. I don't think Kyle is, because it still sounds like a dog. Bleh, off the corner. Listen, listen. Nope, no now shifted for him. Let's get with the leader. See if his engine sounds like a dog through the middle of the corner here. Yep, he is not shifted either. We'll get back in outside the truck. See this battle up close and personal. The laps are click, clicking off quickly here. We got a great group of drivers here at Fast Track. Very, I'll be afraid that. We've had quite a few races go caution free here. And if we do get a caution, it'll be like maybe one or two at the most for most of these races. We usually average around 22 trucks a race. If you want to race with us, go ahead and find us on Facebook. Got a great battle for P2 and P1 here. Find us on Facebook, Fast Track. Fast Track's all one word. It has two T's in the middle. Fast Track, certain races. You'll find a Discord link there. Click on it. Go race with us. If I feel your stats here, stats are worthy enough to race with us. We, we do give people shots. Even if their numbers aren't the greatest, we'll start them out in the truck series, and eventually you'll graduate to the big boy class. Our Fast Track Alloy Wheel Repair Specialist Cup Series. Where all the big dogs hang out. Still a great battle for the lead here. These guys are just nobody checking out. Having a ball here. Seven may have used up his tires. First 20, uh, seven lap. Whoa, whoa, look at that. What a run off the corner. Woo wee, that fast track truck is coming. See if he tries to beat him on a corner entry. Gets it down onto the flat part of the racetrack to make that truck rotate more. He will complete the pass for the lead here on lap 29 out of 120. Let's see what he can do. Will he walk away or does seven stay on his tailgate? 12 putting on some pressure to the seven truck. Trying to force him into a mistake. Trying to make him uh, look out of his rear view mirror. Trying to do his best kamikaze pilot imitation. Does not work. Thinks better of it. Doesn't want to take out the seven truck. All right. Looks like those guys have settled down. Let's focus in on the most exciting battle of the race, shall we? That'll lead us to Ryan Haynes and B15. Clifton got by these guys finally. Kind of, sort of. No, he didn't, because I just see Brian Conklin up further up, or up the racetrack. But I think he's lived in uh, his spot, the same spot he was in. Not really making up much time. 
poor qualifying effort kind of guy. I'm stuck in the rear of the pack. I cannot find my mouse to change cars. Got a battle. Lifted trying to get by Joseph Musau. Musau way up the racetrack. Oh, the 73 into the 39. Woo, they need some good hard racing right there. 73 uh, laid off him a little bit, so he didn't completely spin him out. I like it. Going in hard and low. Trying to find his P's and Q's while doing some hard racing. Oh, bounces it off the wall. That's going to allow the 0-3 of Chris Cowgill to close the gap a little bit more. We got Cockle going at it with somebody here. Brett Spaud and Mark Sabaka seen them side by side for a second ago. Out of my one monitor. Chris Lyons, what's up? Welcome to the replay slash broadcast of our Fast Track Truck Series. I am no longer available to do the live broadcast on Wednesdays, so the Tyler Marble says the replay sends it to me. I load it up, turn on the graphics, cue the microphone, and here I am doing a broadcast of a race that happened a couple days ago. I owe these guys a broadcast, so I, I told them I'd do it. So they have to wait an extra couple days for me to do it. Get back to our leader, Tyler Marble, checking out ever since he got by Warren Knapp. One second lead on the racetrack. Tyler likes himself some New Hampshire. Very good in the modifies here. Yeah, okay, the Cup Series here. <laughs> I kid, I kid. He is does okay here. Actually, he likes the flat tracks. Always ready to eat himself some laughs. Musau and Clifton going at so Musau or I'm sorry, Clifton way down on the apron, the flat part of the racetrack, trying to make that truck rotate, trying to complete that pass into turn three. Musau way up in that dirty stuff. But being up there will allow him to get nice runs off the corner, except this time he was way too high. He lose all that momentum. The 51 of Clifton will complete the pass. For th uh, 14th. Ryan Haynes taking advantage of that wide open door. They get by the three of Joseph Musau. All right, let's see who else we can look at here. Haven't seen one Todd Cheryl rocking our uh, our main sponsor of the league. I'm sorry, of our of our truck series. iRacingiFlag.com. Check them out. Use Fast Track 15 to save 80% off of your order. 18% is a pretty good chunk of change. Save quite a bit of money. Go ahead and check them out if you want to see a you want to have a pretty iRacing iFlag on your sim rig. Those things are pretty sweet. Thank you for Todd for rocking our colors. Appreciate that. Look at that Jimmy Spencer paint scheme. That is old school right there. Glenn Grigsby always rocking those old school paint schemes. That's why I call it the grizzled one, the grizzled veteran. This is probably about as old as me. And he loves them old paint schemes. Good stuff. Bernard Markheim riding in P9. One time race winner this season. Kyle uh, Oakley rocking the snap into a slim M77. Alan Helton having an okay run here. One of our faster trucks week in and week out. And had the greatest qualifying at first. Look, got kind of stuck in, whoa. Stuck in the gaggle in the back of the field. Don't know exactly where it qualified because my sim racing apps does not show that. Vernon Markheim, damn near buying the boat in the low lane, almost spun out on entry, saves it, but still manages to stay underneath the 77 truck. Looking to get himself into P8. We'll stay with this battle for a second, see what happens before we check in on the leaders, make sure nothing's happening up there. But looking at the leaderboard, Tyler Marbles really opened that gap up. Second and a half. Woo. 
crazy. There you go, Vernon Marheim. Vernon Margheim, please pass it for BA. All right, let's go check something else out, shall we? Newcomer Matthew Heal, Andy Janko EX Special. Where'd he go? I didn't look at anything. We'll go back to uh, 37, there's a pass. Four truck, Jacob Musau. Just seen out of the corner of my eye. 37, cannot keep the momentum in the low lane. Four's gonna have all the momentum coming off the corner. All while tra trying to battle one threat spot. This is for P10, 11, and 12. Mark Zabak waiting in the wings, waiting for somebody to make a mistake. Only four people watching. We've lost half of our viewers. Doing the best I can. Check in about a half hour from now as we get closer to the end of this race. If you're here for crashes and mayhem, you're at the wrong place. These drivers here at Fast Track are way too clean. They put on some great racing though. You got comers, you got goers. Pretty soon we're gonna have some print strategy. We're gonna see you can stretch it out to lap 60. Try to do a one stopper instead of two stops. We'll see how it goes here to four. Nick the Moose out. Look at it get by Brett Spawn. Gives him a little elbow to the face as it goes into the corner. Elbows up. 35's got a black eye oh, as he tries to hook him. You're not clear, dude. You weren't clear when you hit me the first time. He said he was not clear. I was about ready to this. I was about ready to say if that was intentional, he's gonna get a text message from me. But it looks like the four tried to clear himself instead of 35 right hooking him. These guys are still going at it. A little mad. The passion is real. Good stuff. All right, let's watch the 11 try to battle the 35 or Brett spot. Peppers are getting a little hot here. Fires are worn out. Track is either loose or tight, depending on how your race truck's doing. The 11 down on the flat part of the racetrack, trying to complete the pass on the 37 of Brian Conklin. Conklin gets all the momentum down the straightaway, but might be only a matter of time as I think the 11 is much better on entry. But the 37 of Conklin gets all that momentum off the corner. And that'll open the door for the 51 to sneak in there. To try and make another pass. He really caught this group once he broke free of uh, of Haynes. Now he's just starting to knock them off one by one. There was a large gap between himself, Haynes, and this, this pack right here of the 11, the 37, and the 35. So he's really, really close to that gap. We got Vernon Markheim going down pit road. Or he did his usual Alt F4. Let's take a look at that, shall we? Might have to have a talk with Mr. Markheim here. Yep, Alt F4. Unacceptable. I call it like I see it. I don't like it. it seems to be happening a lot. Just because you're having a bad race, you can't just Alt F4. I remember I own the rights to let you into the playoffs. I'm not just going to let you in because you won the race, ran the required race. You keep Alt F4 and you might not race here anymore. Tyler Marble, still the big old gap. That's got a feeling he's going to try to stretch it out to 60. I don't even know what the mileage is. I don't have anybody to ask. Anywho. Nothing going on with one P2 one, P2 and P3. You know the pizza man West again having a phenomenal run tonight here. Trying to the seven's really loose on entry. We'll stay with this battle here for a second and see what happens. See if Pizza Man can get himself into the podium. Not to the podium. Brian Saylor looks like about he about just bounced it off the wall. See here, oh, 24 of Sailor up in the second groove, getting passed by Ryan Cheryl. That is your battle for P5. Yes, Ryan Cheryl puts himself in the P5. His next target 
is the pizza box once again. But it's got a long way to go and a short time to get there. Hell, Hill and I just said appear to be struggling. Will show, but I don't know. Because he is looking to get himself into P5 here. Been riding in P7 a lot of this run. Looks like he's starting to these guys down. We got another battle. Uh, who is that? Oh, it's a newcomer, Heal. Man, having a phenomenal. I take that back. Snuck down pit road on me, that sneaky bastard. He is a lap down. He is definitely not making a one one uh, stopper out of me. He went down pit road, he's got himself some new sneakers on that bad boy, and he is going to start knocking them off one by one. Margai, never mind, he all that for Nap is down pit road. Your P3 truck, Hilton down pit road. Your P7 truck. When will we see the seven and the 48 pump down pit road? Watch these guys take take a gander. Looks like the seven is nope. He's staying out. It's a 48 staying out. Yes, he is. Look gonna put another truck a lap down. We're gonna have comers and goers. So we got guys coming down pit road. The two coming out of pit road. Allen Hilton. Gets himself four sneakers of full fuel. According to my sim racing apps, Clifton has only 41 laps on his tires. That ain't right. That didn't update. Ignore that. Uh, uh, seven. All right, stay with the seven truck. Stay with the 48 truck and see when these bad boys are going to pit. Taylor Marbridge your leader, so we'll stay with him first as he drives by pit road entry to see what happens here. And then we'll focus in on the seven and the 59 to see when they're coming down pit road. 12, keep that in mind, pit it around lap 50. Same with Allen Hilton, came down the same time teammates. Might know something we don't know. Tyler Marble stayed out, Austin Moore stayed out. Pizza Man stays out. You guys are probably going to stretch it to left 60. Make a one stopper out of it. And what a leap, from Tyler. In eight five seconds, though. <laughs> My graphics are wrong. Will he come down pit road? No, he does not. Will the seven come down pit road? Nope. There is 59. Glenn Grisby says, all right, I've had enough. Tommy gave me some new sneakers and a cigarette. Dick Trickle style. Old schools will know what I'm talking about there. 12, looking to unlap himself. Coming in hot and heavy to the 48 of Tyler Marble. Seven truck get eaten up by the guys on new tires coming up here road lap 56 he might be able to one stop it if he can make more than 60 laps on a tank of fuel i think because he was in the gaggle of trucks decides to come down he was going for a one stopper to split it in half that might uh, i don't know i don't know how many i don't know how many laps this guys can get this guy's in here speculating i'm not an engineer Let's see if that if that should bring Tyler Marble down pit road. And as I say that, he just went by pit road entry and does not come down pit road. Stays out. The 12 truck unlaps himself. Let's see what the pizza man does. Riding in P2. He is down pit road. So that leaves Marble, Cheryl, Sailor, Oakley, and Jacob Musau and Conklin. Lead pack that has not paid it yet. We'll wait for this leaderboard to cycle through here. Mark Zabak came down pit road already. As you, yep, he's a lap down, so he blows by Brian Conklin. Those new tires are absolutely huge. Brandon Sailor down pit road. Tires are showing their speed. 
road. Was that the 51? Yes, the 51 down pit road. Everybody getting tires of, but the leader. He's, still, he's on the front straightaway, staying out even longer. Gutsy, gutsy move here. Giving up a lot of track time on the racetrack. Interesting strategy for sure. Is that behind him? That is heel behind him. About a few quarters of straight away. Let's see if he pits this time. Tyler Marble in the low lane. Nope, stays out for another lap. Who the hell's in P2? Ryan Shero. Is he coming? Now he's coming down pit road. Eh, man, we still got about almost half the field still out of the racetrack. Not pitted. I think the pet stopped here, bro. Came down here, bro. No, he's fixing to go a lap down. Tyler Marble right behind him. Cody Matthews involved in an earlier incident where he didn't, lap, didn't get any uh, damage. 77. It's coming down. Chris Cuz coming down. Oh, everybody's coming down pit road. Will the leader come down pit road? Are you trying to get down to pit road speed before that cone? The 10 of 40 Matthews is pit with the leader right behind him. Definitely gonna go a lap down, maybe two. Tyler Marble stays, does he stay out? Yes. Hot on his heels is Austin Moore, Allen Hilton. Trying to unlap themselves on the racetrack. And oh man, the leader is just giving up so much time on the racetrack to these guys. Uh, everybody that paid, there's still only one, two, three trucks that have stayed out. We'll do come down this time. No, stays out again. Well, Larry McReynolds, you like this strategy? Well, no, I don't like this strategy. Mr. Abraham, I don't like it at all. I never say you should have pitted when everybody else pitted. I agree with you, Larry Mac. Giving up a lot of time on the racetrack. Ooh, three wide. Chris Cowgill plays nice and lets Tyler Marble have the proof. Still out on the racetrack. Well past the halfway point. So we know for sure he can make it on fuel. Brian Watson and Todd Shero. This one Todd Shero hit it. Let's show what I don't know. Nope. Still the P4. And that would leave Brian Watson. P3. It eaten up by the seven of Austin Moore. Matthew Hill was the first one to pit, and he's going to pick up quite a few spots, but he might lose quite a few spots before. There it is. Tyler Marble, F65, comes down pit road. So uh, watch his picture in action. Going to get himself four sneakers. Full fuel. Come on, guys. The players on that thing. Slow. One, two, three, four. Oh, he did put on five lug nuts. I was counting. All right, let's see where Mr. Marble washes out on the racetrack. See how much time he gave up to the guys that pitted about, wow, they pitted 15, 10 and 15 laps ago. The new leader in P2. Tyler Marble's got to be careful of that blue line and blue bone, not give himself a penalty. All right, comes out in front of the 30 truck. It's a lap down truck. Let's see where he's at in relation to those guys that pitted. Moore is just at the start finish line and Marble. Well, he's still on the same straightaway for the most part. Right, he's in the middle of turn one and two, and Moore is coming out the back straightaway. So I take that back. He didn't lose too, too much time. I mean, he should be able to make up half the straightaway to a full straightaway in a rather short amount of time, with think. Austin Moore having 11 laps on his tires. Oh wait, Austin Moore's not the leader. Let's see where the leader's at. Oh, 
All right, just got to the back straight away. And Tyler Marble is just getting in the one. So it's got like almost three quarters of a lap lead. Now that's a lot of time to give up there, but he should be punting him down. Last lap was a 32-3. The leader turned to 30, same time, a 32-3. And Austin Moore, that last lap, turned the fastest lap of the race with a two. You know, I don't think that's right. My sim racing apps is having trouble spitting out numbers on replays. I don't think that's right. There's no way to turn your fastest lap. 15 laps of the run. All right, so everybody pitted. Let's quickly go through the field. Back to the 12 is your leader. Pitted 18 laps ago. Austin Moore, P2, 13 laps ago. Allen Hilton. Allen Hilton. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. I say it, but now he was just in P3. All right, Gant Marble caught Hilton on his 19 laps tires. So that'll put Tyler Marble in the fourth. Wesley Gant is P3. Gant has 13 laps on his tires. Marble has five. Should get by him soon. All right, Hilton's P5. Chris Cowgill's a lap down P16. Busau, one of the uh, Joseph Busau, P17. Car's be in the of the back Looks like the yellow is out. Let's hit the old previous crash button. Sh Todd Shiro slipping on a banana peel. Oh, Tyler Marble's like, man, that couldn't happen like five laps ago when I before I pitted. Uh, he did not want to see that because you know what? Now he's going to have to burn an extra set of tires. I would think because he's going to want to be on the same cycle as the leaders because you know damn well those guys with 20, 15, and 14 laps on their tires are going to come down pit road and get sneakers. Even with Tyler having five green flag laps on his tires, that's just that's just too many laps here at New Hampshire. So most likely he'll end most likely he'll uh, come, yeah, he's coming down pit road. He's not gonna stay off the track, which is a smart move. But he's gonna have to give up a set of tires. All right, so let's check in on the leader, make sure he's got the stuff. Excuse me, I'm gonna give myself a drink while they're changing sneakers. That was a nice, healthy run. No caution to pass halfway in the race I like. All right, hang on, I gotta get a drink. Oh yeah, refreshing. Lipton iced tea. Lipton, the official sponsor of iRacingLifeLike.com. Fast tracks in racing. They didn't give me any money either. All right, who wins the battle off pit road? The 12 is going to fire his pit crew. Holy shit balls. Unless these guys, nope, they all took four. I'm looking at them. The 12. No ice cream for you tonight, fellas. Your crew is going to go straight to bed without dinner or ice cream. Did he change the left sides twice? What the? No, he didn't. I'm just seeing things. Lefts. Rights. Oh, there it is. I take that back. His crew is getting ice cream at dinner tonight before bed. Mr. Nap is not getting ice cream because he overshot his pit stall. Had to back the truck up. He was over the line. That is going to make him lose one, two, three spots, maybe four on pit road just by simply going past the line in your pit stall. Let's see what iRacing says. It allows him to get past the two, so he lost three spots on pit road just simply by going past that little line. All right, let's recap. After pit stops, Austin Moore, very good on the short run. Takes off like a banshee out of hell when they drop that green flag on fresh tires. Short run guy. Wesley Gantz, a steady Eddie so far from what I've seen. 
Nice balanced race truck. Doesn't come out of the gate too strong. Pretty good on long run. Kyle Knapp, he was good on the short run, just like seven. Eventually got by the seven Austin Moore. But eventually the 48 had the ultimate long run truck. That'll lead us to Allen Hilton. I believe we're making your biggest mover of the night. Not sure where he qualified because they're racing apps. Won't tell me in replay mode. Tyler Marble had to burn a set of tires right there to get on the same cycle as the leaders. Now he's going to have to do it all over again. Be smart, play it safe, take care of the tires, and you will get rewarded on the long run. Brandon Saylor was having a nice steady run. Had some, some action with the 20 truck. Those guys were going at for quite a while. Ryan Shiro, newcomer, he'll having a solid run tonight. Former console player. I believe he's told me he was a former pro driver for NASCAR Heat. I hope I have that correct. On the console side of things. Then he graduated to the big boy. Simulation stuff here on iRacing. Having a solid, solid run. Crew member for Angie, Andy Jankowiak on his ARCA team and probably his modified and other good stuff. Andy Jankowiak with a devastating accident this week at Lincoln Motor Speedway. Pretty much destroyed his race car. Hate to see it. All right, pace car is going to be off. All right, great long run, guys. Let's finish it out here. Please. Amen, Amen to that, Tyler Marble. All right. Pace car's off. Going to give himself an ice cream. Austin Moore is going to lead him down for restart number two of the race. Technically number three if you count the first start of the race. But you can't count the first start of the race a restart because you're not restarting anything. Anyways. Like I said, the seven will come out of the gate like a madman on them new tires. Always opening up a nice lead, but pays for it if it stays green by using up them tires. A pizza man, look at that. Moving himself into P2. Oh, gets loose. Oh, the gang gets loose. Let's get to the 12 truck. There is. That was short lit for P2. Tyler Marble taking advantage of it. So is Alan Hilton trying to stick his nose in there. Hope he's got some Kleenex before you stick it in there. Tyler Marble and Wesley Gant going at it. All fighting for that piece of pepperoni. Tyler Marble down on the flat pad. Flat part of the racetrack, which is the loosest, and he pays for it on exit. That'll allow the 59 to get a run. But he can't quite stick. Eh, he was peeking, thought about it. Oh, let's go back to let's go to the battle back here real quick. The 11 of Mark Sabak, seventh. Cheryl, eighth. Heel, ninth. Guys are throwing haymakers. Clifton, still stuck in a gaggle here. Your points leader. If he's, if he's not the points leader, he's in P2 points. I forgot to look. Bear with me. Trying to get underneath the 35. It does his best. Larson imitation. Saves it. I think the 70. Whoa, what the hell's going on here? The 51 misses the exit. And that allows the 35 to get by him in the high lane. The 51 is coming back after him. In the low lane. Oh, my God. These guys are going at it like crazy. Man, these guys are just not wanting to give an inch. They know how valuable that clean air is. Oh, Miss 73 goes up the track. Almost, whoa, the 51 gets loose. That corner exit will lose all that momentum. He is just on the old struggle bus. Man, he's probably waiting for them tires just to heat up a little bit. Make the truck a little bit tighter. It appears to be struggling with looseness. Or he just hates being in a low lane. And he just keeps losing all that momentum. 73 newcomer heel doing a fantastic job in that high lane, keeping all that momentum. All right, let's just focus in on the leaders real quick. Make sure we ain't missing up the no heel has opened up a healthy lead. Really just putting a hammer down, man. We'll see if he uses up his tires. 
Nap is still there. Tyler Marble's still there. The Pizza Man's still there. Wonder if these guys are just riding. There's still a little ways to go. A little bit of tire management might go a long ways. Focus in on one Brian Conklin. Been in most of the gaggles all night long. So hard to pass here at New Hampshire. Or truck looking to get underneath 73 of Mark Sabak. Oh my God, that's not Mark Sabak, that's Matthew Hill. Can't just change trucks. Jesus Christ, get with it. Oh, the four dropping away down the apron, trying to get a run off the corner. Somebody in the back was a little slippy slippy. Couldn't see quite who that was, it was a black truck. Click on exciting, it'll probably take us right to these guys. And, yep. <laughs> I don't need to click on exciting because I know where the excitement's at. There it is, 20 of Ryan Shero. Riding in P8s. Mark Sabak getting a little loosey loose on the straightaway. I gotta turn my heater off. Yes, I have a heater on. I broadcast from the confines of my cold basement. Sometimes I gotta turn the heat on to get the chill out of here. I am actually wearing a sweatshirt when it's 80 degrees outside. That's how I roll. Oh, man. The 12 is closing the gap. Once them guys start a battle and you know what's gonna happen. That'll make Tyler Marble very happy. It's like, come on guys, battle, battle, battle so I can catch you. So the seven appears to have used up his Air Jordans. Don't mind me, I'm multitasking, looking at something else. All right, back to, whoops, whoops. We have 37 to go, plenty of time for the rest of the pack to try to hunt down Austin Moore and Kyle Knapp. Got a feeling once that 12 truck catches them, it'll be a nice little battle. Let's click on exciting real quick before we get to this battle. Stop doing that. Hello. Uh, where did my sim racing app thingies go? Oh, there you are. Ah, okay. I clicked on exciting and it takes us right back to these guys. Most exciting battle on the race. Oh, that 35 on the outside of Clifton. Let's see if they play nice with each other. 51's got the inside track. Yes, completes the pass, slides up in front of the 35. 35 appears to be struggling through the center of the corner, appears to be a little on the tight side. May have used up that right front tire. With uh, 35 to go, that is gonna be bad news as the Ford does his best dirt sprint car imitation. Saves the racetrack, almost slid into Randy the Macho Man Savage. Kyle uh, Oakley. That would have been snapping into a slim tip for sure as he got his ass and, ass and whack Elizabeth style. All you old school people out there know who Elizabeth is. It's Elizabeth. One of my earliest wood. Yeah, I said it. Back in the 80s. I was young and dumb. All right. A four. Mm. Jacob Musau trying to get his spot back. Ikabusa, winner of Watkins. No, it wasn't Watkins. That's Sonoma? Oh, hell, he won on a fucking road course. I don't know which one it was. I think he won on a road course. Who knew Jacob Musa was a road course racer? It's by the 77. All right, enough of that battle. Let's watch another one. Stop with the damn UI. Killing me. All right, leaders. There it is. 
Seven and 12 going at it. P1. Nap. Nap. Gant. Gant. Wesley Gant. Wow, I totally butchered his name. And how long does it speak? 21. 20 to 12. Just dives it in there on corner entry. Truck gets sideways. Is able to stay door to door with the set. The seven gets really loose off the corner. Trying to do all he can to stay in that high lane. Not much of a battle. Marble and Gant are like, no! Battle more, fuckers. Ugh. He hates to see that. Those guys needed the battle for them two trucks to catch back up and have some fun with the leaders. But we'll see if those two were saving tires. They're going to be able to hunt down the seven, 12 trucks. 48 it is coming a little bit, it looks like. Inching himself forward ever so slightly. Thirty to go, twenty-nine to go at the line. Oh, the seven! It, I may have used up his tires because now he's he seems to be loose every corner exit, which will allow him to lose all sorts of time on the straightaways. I need a drink. Hang on. Oh yeah. Woo. Somebody joined my channel. Don't they know I'm doing a broadcast? There we go. I moved myself into a lonely room so those guys can talk amongst yourselves. We're talking uh, strategy for tomorrow's New Hampshire race and the Fast Track Cup Series. You can catch that on Ghost Racing Network at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Go to YouTube. Check out Ghost. You know, like, ooh, scary Ghost. Ghost Racing Network. Uh, you'll get, it, go get, give them a subscribe. Uh, go ahead and find the link in our Discord or our Facebook page for the live broadcast tomorrow nights of our Cup Series. Should be a good one. I've seen some wild and crazy shit this weekend, New Hampshire. Next gen cars like to get around the flat tracks, the flat corners very well. Tyler Morrow putting all sorts of pressure on the seven truck. Does not want the 12 to get away. Looks like the seven is starting to shift. I see some flames coming out the old exhaust pipes. Let's go inside the cockpit, shall we? All right. Gears. Yeah, the RPMs seem a little high, so it must be. Sh yep, he's shifting. Let's see if Tyler Marble's shifting. Still in fourth. Down to third. Trying to get the run off the corner. More probably in his ears. Was listening to Marble earlier in the race. Shift late in the run. He's like, all right, I hear you shift, and I think I'm going to try it. Here he is trying. And he's staying ahead of the 48s. Alexander Brown in chat says, don't sleep on nap. We shall see. I think if the 48 can get by the seven in a timely fashion, he might have a shot at the 12 truck, but getting by somebody is pretty hard at this racetrack. He's trying all he can, drives it down deep. Look a porn star. Cannot keep the momentum. Oh, door to door. Gonna be three wide. Uh, Glick Speed backs out of it as the courteous driver that he is. Tyler Marble thinks he's in a Whalen modified car. <laughs> oh! Tyler, you can't go below the L line. Yes, he can. It is fair game on a racetrack. That's not Daytona or Talladega. You most certainly can go down there and. I fucking applaud that move because most people that go down there spin out. So, fucking good on him for not spinning that truck out. But to say Daytona, Talladega, or Atlanta, just any part of the racetrack is fair game, my man. All right, Tyler Marble looking to chase down the 12 of Mr. Knapp. 23 to go. 
first run of the race that went 50 laps or so before everybody started pitting. Tyler Marble opened up the 1.5 second lead over Knapp and Moore. And uh, let's see if we can try to close that gap as we got 22 to go. To try and keep an eye on the relative, sometimes it's a little wonky. See the P3 truck? It's only, it shows him less than a second. So yeah, some of the bugs are still still in this software. The guy that developed that is developing the software is doing a fantastic job. This is the first scoring software that I know of that works with replays. Most of them don't, so that's why I'm using this stuff that I just found so we can have the live leaderboard alive and well, working as it should. So kudos to this guy for knowing his coding skill. Oh, the seven of Austin Moore. Where's my mouse? Oh my God. Mouse, cursor. There you are, you son of a bitch. Back to the seven truck. Let's rewind that and watch that save, shall we? Yes, just gets it loose on corner entry. Maybe a little too much rear brake. Hell of a save. That'll allow the pizza man of Wesley Gantz. Yes, Mr. Knapp, I think you are correct. I'll have to go and change that setting because I don't like it. There's a, there's a way to change the settings. I don't want trucks ahead. I want distance from the leaders, what I want. So it gives me a better idea where they're at on the racetrack. But good call, Kyle. I like that. See, somebody's smarter than me, which is a lot of people. Huh. Tyler Marble, one second behind the leader. I know that relative should be right. So we'll see if he can close that gap. We'll get to the aerial view here. You get a better idea of how far back he is. The seven has really fallen off the cliff. Really used up his tires and that. It's all wet. Why do I keep saying that? He's not a fucking sand gnat. He, he's Gant. Like Harry fucking Gant. How hard is it to get through my head? Let's keep calling the pizza man. I'll be all right. All right. Mark Grigsby, I think he may have just pitted. That's why he is all over Tyler like white on rice. Hope that isn't racist. Now the, the rice is going to get mad at me. All right. Uh, yeah, he's closing the gap. Ever so slightly. Glenn is usually reserved. He won't stick his nose into too much trouble. He'll let the leaders go at it. Let's see if he just hangs out behind Tyler. Get back to racing. Oh, I <laughs> Yes, Kyle, get off the damn phone and make sure you're wheeling the car because Tyler Marble's catching you. He's knocked like three tenths off that lap. So um, put the phone down, my man. Start wheeling that thing, will ya? All right, um, 17 to go. I want to stay with the leaders, but I also want to see if anybody else is having a quick battle. All right, Conklin and Shiro are going at it. Um, 77 and the uh, 39, I'm sorry, 35 and the 39 are going at it. These guys are really going. This is for like the middle of the pack, but it's still fun to watch. Every point is valuable. So get cl not clear, 77. Not clear, not even clear. Thought for sure he was going to come up into him, but he was looking in his mirror like a good little boy. Tyler Marble knocking some more time off. It's going to be 15 to go at the line. Blind the grizzled veteran being the nice guy on his new tires. Let these guys just battle out. Blind. Even if Glenn were to get by these two guys, he still would not be the lucky dog. Todd Shiro currently is your lucky dog. So Glenn's just like, fuck it, boys. You guys have at it. I'll have front row seats for the battle. You know what, Kyle? I think you're right. That is the interval. That's the way the intervals are working because I believe Mori is definitely almost four seconds back. So good catch on that, man. Good, good call. I'm going to go in the settings and change it because I don't like it. I do not like it. Marble still only half a second gap. May have used up his tires trying to catch him late. Let's get to the cockpit real quick, see if he's still shifting. 
Yep, shifting there. Let's see if the 12 is shifting, shall we? Oh yeah, everybody's shifting now. Ah! Oh man. Well, Kyle, if you're gonna stay with us for this. Never mind. Tyler Marble looking to get after the 12 truck. Delay my last. You didn't hear that. <laughs> the lead is now seven tenths of a second. I think Tyler is doing all he can to catch him. Closes up that time a little bit. But everybody's shifting now. Before they were not, they must have seen and heard what Tyler was doing. And then everybody else started shifting. I believe that was the advantage earlier in the race when Tyler was shifting and those other guys were not. It allowed him to open up a decent lead. Oh, Tyler lost another tenth there. Open up on some lap traffic, the three of um, Sal. On the old struggle bus tonight. Seven people out there in TV land watching. Go ahead and give this a like. Give it a share. Go ahead and tell your friends, tell your dog, tell your cat. And then you can tell them to go to YouTube because this will be uploaded to YouTube later. I gotta get that trading paints over those pictures. I don't know why it's not working, but it's a work in progress. Tyler Marble caught the three truck at the wrong spot on the racetrack. Corner exits, just wrong, bad timing right there some time. Tyler Marble closing the gap a little bit here. Picked up a ten, two tenths that time around. See if he can get it back down to 0.5. This lap, that'll get him back to where he was. Got it down to six, got it down to five. Getting it back into his groove. Gonna stay with the leaders the rest of the way here. I'm just gonna quickly See if there's any exciting battles on the race track. Looks like everybody's spread out. Stay with the leaders. It just keeps fluctuating between 0.5 and 0.7. One guy does one lap and the other guy does a different lap. And then it's kind of like, up and down, like a roller coaster. Oh, Tyler gets loose off that corner. Oh, excuse me, I don't mean to yawn in your ear unless you like that kind of stuff. Oh, goodness. Really clean race here tonight in New Hampshire. Oh, Tyler gets really loose off that corner. Glenn being a gentleman, just staying put, not trying to take advantage of it. I'm sure Tyler knows that. Kind of focus it. Got the club truck. As I was saying, only one caution here tonight in our fast track truck series. Lots of great clean racing. If you have anybody you know, including yourself, that wants to race with us in our truck series, go to Fast Track Sim Racing on Facebook. You'll find the Discord link there. Click on it, it'll send you our way, and we'll get you going in the right direction. Fast Track is all one word, and there is two T's, T's in the middle. On Facebook, YouTube also. The, the Discord link there is on our YouTube channel. And as a reminder, tomorrow night's Post Racing Network on July 17th, 23, Post Racing Network, our alloy wheel repair specialist out of Richmond, Virginia, Cup Series heads to capture or I don't know how many laps it is. I don't know, 100 and something. <laughs> uh, I don't like me personally as a driver. I don't like my chances tomorrow night. I'm struggling a little bit on the long run. I need to find some long run speed. Can't speak with Tyler and some other guys on our team, but the race I raced the other day, I think it was yesterday, I was on the old struggle bus on the long run. 
stuffed up my tires. So I got some work to do before tomorrow night. But I only have so much time, so we're just gonna wheel it off the old trailer and let's try to get a top five. Definitely not a race winning car tomorrow night. But we've seen crazier things happen. I didn't think I had a race winning car at Nashville. And uh, had a hell of a battle with one Adrian Watts there for side by side for 40 laps. I was able to finally get by him and brought that bad boy home to a victory. First one of the year. Got myself some playoff points. All right, three to go. The lead is now a second and a half. It's only a formality now, unless the 12 misses a shift, pops a tire, hits a lap car, runs over a Dale Earnhardt chicken bone. Shall see. Well, let's recap. A lot of trucks pitted in the 50 to 55 lap range. Some waited to the 60s. After the, all the cycles were complete, 17 of Todd Shero unfortunately spins out, brings out a yellow, and just kind of changes the complexity of the race. Some people wanted to see it, some didn't, but that's racing, man. What's gonna happen? What are you gonna do? All right, the Capital One white flag lap. But if uh, I'll go by the bank, I use the Key Bank white flag lap. Nap trying to go for his fourth win of the year, third. Hell, I don't know. Just going for another win here, fast track sim racing. Probably will just ride behind the old busy Beaver here. Well, the Beaver was trying to let him go. Cody Matthews, I think, was trying to let him go, but. There you have it. Kyle Knapp doesn't burn up his stuff. We'll bring it all P1 here in the Fast Track Sim Racing Truck Series. Presented by iRacingHighFlag.com. Tyler Marble, a gallant effort. Try to reel him in. Fails to do it. We'll come on P2 tonight. The guy that has 9,000 poles, unable to get his win this season. He will get his wins, I can guarantee it. He'll come across some wins before the season's over. Uh, Moore with another strong run tonight. Wesley Gant, P4, and Brandon Saylor brings home P5. Let's go to a quick commercial break. All right, all right, we're back. Here we are. Kyle Knapp, your big winner hat in New Hampshire. Our Fast Track Truck Series presented by iRacingIFlake.com. All right, we're going to wrap it up here. We're going to go through the grade real quick. Kyle Knapp, P1. Tyler Marble, P2. Austin Moore, P3. Wesley Gant, P4. Brandon Saylor, 5th. Alan Hilton, 6th. Nice run tonight. Field. Mark Zabak, 7th. Ryan Shiro, 8th. Jeremy Clifton, 9th. Solid points there. Newcomer rookie Matthew Heal coming from the consoles over to iRacing. Debuts at P10. 
hell of a run. Good job on him. All right, next page. P11, Jacob Sal. BC, Brian Cockton, P12, Kyle, 13th. Ryan Haynes, 14th. Brett Spot, 15th. Chris Coggle, 16th. Ryan Watson, 17th. Cody Matthews, 18th. Joseph, 20th. Todd Sherrill, 20th. Blank Griggs, P21. Vernon Markheim rounds out your field at P22. I requested Kyle Knapp to get his ass into Discord for an interview. And he is unveiled. So I'll do a mock interview. Kyle, how'd your race go? Well, we got a timely caution. Caution that we needed. Just after our pit stop cycle, we took a gamble, but pitted before everybody else. And uh, got gained some track position on new tires while other people stayed out to our advantage. Uh, last restart of the race, we allowed Austin Moore go out to a nice healthy lead, used up his tires. We eventually got by him because we did better tire management than him. Moore didn't put a much too much of a battle with us. Got by him rel relatively easy. Uh, I was hoping Moore and uh, Marble would go at it longer so I could get a bigger lead, but I really got up on that wheel when I looked in the mirror and seen Tyler Marble closing the gap. And uh, but eventually, I think Tyler may have used up his tires, and I just maintained pace and I won by like a second and a half. So I like to thank my crew. I like to thank Maestro's Classic. I like to thank Glory. What is it? Glory something. Oh my God! What I Glory Pole. Glory Pole Company for coming on board. I'd like to thank my teammates, Alan Hilton and, and Jeremy Clifton and the whole crew. We were fast off the trailer tonight. We did a hell of a job. We're going to go get them at Pocono next week. We got a great piece. We might even bring the same race truck. So, again, thanks to Tyler for, and Tyler Marvel for putting on this league. You guys do a great job. You guys have a great bunch of core drivers here. You guys do an awesome job. Best league in iRacing. I love you guys. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Kyle. I appreciate you, man. It's some kind words. It's a lot coming from you guys. And uh, I appreciate each and every one of you drivers out there for a fantastic job making our truck series not look like a clown show like some other leagues. Some great hard racing, clean racing. If you want to race with us, check us out on Facebook. Fast Tracks in Racing on Facebook. Fast Tracks, all one word, two T's in the middle. Check us out on YouTube. Same thing. This replay will be there. Maybe next time, Kyle will get off of his toilet, stop pooping, and come do an interview with us. Or whoever else wins. You guys seeing this broadcast, this rebroadcast of a live race that happened on Wednesday night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know you was nervous. You got up on that wheel. I just seen your chat. Got your elbows up. Seen that uh, black uh, iRacing iFlay truck coming at you. Did a hell of a job, man. I think Tyler might have used up the stuff, but that's it. That's racing, man. You know, just you know, do. Yeah, you won. Anyways, congratulations. We'll see you guys next week in Pocono. This is Jeff Marble doing my best imitation of a broadcaster, best I can, giving these guys a replay from Wednesday night's race. Uh, okay, I'm out. Congrats, Kyle. Good job, Tyler. Good job, Austin. Good job, Wesley. Good job, Sailor. P5s. I'll send the check in the mail. See you next time.
trying everything. The kitchen sink is being thrown at it. They're leaning on each other. Coming into turn number three. It's going to be a drag race through three and four. Coming back to the line. Here comes Trish on the bottom. Richard's going to hold the inside. Tries to be the late breaker here. They're going to be side by side through the fire chicane. That's still four wide on the run down at the back straightaway. Demerit's looking for a line as well. What is going on in Michigan? No back into the fence. They're still beating and banging. Oh and my to goodness. the line. He is much faster coming through there. Is there damage on Challenger? Abramidas is ahead. Oh That's going to be a race to the line. Who 